The local economy is poised for revitalization as activity in the tourism industry ramps up. The cruise sector is continuing to see vibrant movement with inaugural calls to podcast streets. Ross Daniel reports on the latest welcome for the Pinnacle Class MS Rotterdam. MS Rotterdam 7 on Sunday 14th November 2021 made her maiden call to podcast trees where her crew and passengers alike were welcomed by officials and stakeholders of the tourism sector. MS Rotterdam is a Pinnacle Class cruise ship operated by Holland America Line, a subsidiary of Carnival Corporation. Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hiller, citing the continued challenges being posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, highlighted the importance of the rejuvenation of the cruise sector. With COVID, a lot has changed. The, dif the difficulties of social distancing, of wearing masks, of persons having to be vaccinated, it has really created challenges for us. And we constantly try to find ways and means to make sure that as many people as possible benefit from the cruise passengers getting off the ship. It continues to be a challenge for us, but we continue to work with all stakeholders to make sure that they benefit. When 1,800 persons disembark the ship, we must find a way to ensure as many solutions as possible can benefit from that. It's not easy, it is challenging, because at the same time, we must also ensure that protocols are in place and protocols are respected, because the safety of our population is also quite critical. And I can tell you as Minister, it's not been the easiest task. We are constantly trying to make modifications to the protocols to engage all stakeholders and ensure that we can offer benefit to everyone. So today for us is really important. It is a, a new ship, um, like I said, the seventh Rotterdam in the history of the company. And as we tried this morning again is to make sure as many people as possible benefit from the arrival of the passengers. Rotterdam 7, as she is famously referred to, has 12 passenger decks and measures 99,935 gross tonnage. She has a length of 983 feet 7 inches, a draft of 26 feet and a beam of 35 meters. Her guest capacity stands at 2,668. Chairman of the Board of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Thaddeus Antoine, citing Rotterdam's legacy, welcomed the cruise ship's return to St. Lucia. We were particularly pleased that with this ship, the passengers could roam um, during this COVID time. It's going to roam around. So it really helps you know, the vendors at the arcades, our artisans, um, the restaurants, the fine restaurants around could benefit from it. Um, even, even, even the taxi drivers who are not part of tour operators, but who are on their own, they have the ability to, to, to gather those persons and take them around tours around the island. Um, so we're really excited. Um, every week now you'll see a cruise ship coming in and more and more passengers disembarking. It just augurs well for the economy, augurs well for St. Lucia. And it's true, we're still going for the pandemic, uh, but we are working with the Ministry of, of Health, working with the Ministry of Tourism to find the best way forward so that everybody benefits um, from the tourism dollar. Agents from Cox and Company Limited, officials of the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, Slasper, Tourism Minister, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hiller, Chairman of the Board of the SLTA, Thaddeus Antoine, and Chairman of the Board of Invest St. Lucia, Lyndon Arnold, were all present to welcome the MS Rotterdam and to participate in a plaque exchange ceremony. Captain Bas Van Driemel, who accepted the plaques on the crew's behalf, expressed his hope for continued calls to St. Lucia. Samantha Charles is the tourism officer for the cruise sector in the Ministry of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information. We are very excited to have this ship on our cruise schedule. Um, obviously, it's an opportunity for our persons on the ground to be part of the cruise industry. In the background, we can see some um, some guests already lined up to go on um, select tours, so this is something that we, we are really happy about. Um, the, the cruise sector is one of the pivotal sectors for tourism, so um, any first time cruise ship inaugural call is a welcome opportunity to add to the existing fleet of, of cruise ships. So 
um, once again we are really happy for this um, inaugural call today and we look forward to subsequent calls from MS Rotterdam and having both the, the crew and passengers really disembark and enjoy St. Lucia um, at all that we have to offer. Rotterdam's port call is the third inaugural cruise ship call recorded since the opening of the cruise season in St. Lucia.